social media giants like Meta, TikTok, being sued by school districts nationwide. Jamesville DeWitt Central School District now set to join the suit. First Central New York School District to do that. The board voting last night to approve a resolution allowing the district to join this lawsuit, which looks to hold social media companies responsible for students' struggles with things like mental health. News Channel Lines Ashley Cafaro live for us outside Jamesville DeWitt High School with more on the suit. Ashley, good evening. Good evening, Jeff. Um, social media companies like TikTok and Google are being sued by more than 200 school districts nationwide, including Jamesville DeWitt. School districts, including Jamesville DeWitt, joining a class action lawsuit against social media companies, claiming tech giants are causing emotional distress and are aware of the issues, but not doing anything to fix it. There's been issues with cyberbullying, mental health issues, content that's being shared to the students, which is causing an issue within the school district. McCall says this is part of a larger initiative in New York. They've really been trying to curtail the abilities that social media has to reach children, especially school-aged children. But it's not just a statewide issue. We've seen other states throughout the nation even begin to enact bans on social media for children under the age of 18, right? This is a serious issue that's been really ongoing and continuing to develop within the United States. However, McCall says social media companies will try and settle this lawsuit. In cases like this, what you're really seeking is a decision, right? If they're able to hold these social media companies liable, you're going to see a flood effectively. You're going to see more than just this class action, and you're going to be able to see additional litigation being commenced against these companies for wrongdoings in the future. The case is still in its early stages. Right, they're most likely going to get a judge involved. Then from there, what they're going to be able to do is go down to the mat, right? Basically, at each point, somebody's going to have to make their argument and say, listen, we're suffering these damages. This is how we're suffering them. And this is what we're expected the cost to be. Now, if this were to go to trial, McCall says it could take one to four years before actually reaching trial. Live in DeWitt, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9.